Okay, so tonight I'm gonna take my C-Star S50 outside and I've got an extension cord ran out there and I'm going to image Bode's galaxy all night. I already did the cigar galaxy, but it's gonna be up there. It's gonna travel across the sky and I'm gonna see uh, how much exposure time I can get. Um, I have the extension cord out there so that I can keep it plugged in all night and I guess we're, I'm gonna see what we can get. I'll have to wake up at like 5.30ish tomorrow morning, but yeah, I guess we're gonna see what I'll get. All right, so I just brought it in after imaging all night. I have it on its tripod. I, I woke up at around 5.30ish before the sun starts to lighten up the night sky and I, I shut it off. I did go to another galaxy um, and early in the night I did some, I shot the Pleiades and the Triangulum galaxy, which I didn't get much time because those go below the horizon pretty quickly. But I just brought it in. It's almost super cold still. Uh, got down to about 25 last night. Seemed to do fine. Um, I only got three hours on Bode's Galaxy, even though it was going all night. And I'm not exactly sure what that was from. A visitor. Um, but yeah, about three, literally three hours exactly on Bode's Galaxy. But yeah, um, I'm going to do some post-processing and see what I can get out of the images. They look pretty good raw already. Okay, so here I started off with the Triangulum Galaxy, got about 50 minutes, and it didn't turn out too good because it went below the tree line, but it was still taking images and stacking them, but it's not turning out so good. But, uh, here's the Pleiades, got about 20 minutes on the Pleiades, I think it turned out pretty good, you can see a lot of the gas and stuff by them, and then it went below the trees again, uh, but I think it turned out pretty good. And then here's Bode's Galaxy, which turned out amazing. Three hours total exposure, exactly three hours, and I think it turned out amazing. It looks awesome, and this is definitely one of my best pictures of galaxies yet. And then here, I, I think it's called the Firework Galaxy. Uh, this turned out pretty good, 17 minutes, and it looks like that, so I guess this might be one of my future targets. All in all, I think the Sea Star is an amazing telescope, especially for beginners like me. I am looking at getting a, uh, like, I want to get like an 8-inch Dobinson or something like that for getting really up close with galaxies. But this thing did amazing with Bode's Galaxy, and the Firework Galaxy looked pretty good with only 17 minutes exposure time. So I'm thinking that might be one of my next targets for long-time exposure. Although it does come up uh, pretty late in the night. I have to wake up pretty early. But other than that, I think it's an amazing telescope. And for what it's worth, it's pretty, it's pretty much a steal. So if you're looking at buying one, you definitely should buy one. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.